I got the transit papers. Now why don't you tell me what this is about? We are going to meet a man called Duval Mingo. He is no patriot, but he hates the Nazis, and he commands the loyalty of the rebels south of the River Seine. What's so important that you'd risk bringing together every rebel leader in the city? I won't discuss it here. For now, I can only say that you play a key role in our plans, Sean. I don't like being kept in the dark, Luke. Then come with me. We will go meet this man Mingo, then we will discuss what comes next. Where are we headed? The Latin Quarter. We will rendezvous with Mingo at the Jardin du Plant. So, it seems I am not the only one getting into bed with the British Empire. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the lovely Lady Sinclair is one dirty minx, eh? Veronique tells me the two of you are old friends. Veronique has a weakness for idle gossip. I am told English women are cold on the outside, but warm on the inside, no? I thought you were meant to be a classy bloke. Why don't we take Skylar and Veronique up to La Havre this weekend for a little uh, wine tasting? Isn't there still a war on? All the more reason for some joie de vivre while we still can, huh? I won't argue with that. Find out if Santos earned his fee. Zida, hunt! Here, Papire. Here, Reise Papire. Yeah, all is ordnung. Wiedersehen. So, shall we make it a foursome in La Havre? I am sure Veronique would be delighted to have you and Skyler join us. Don't count on it. Oh, something I should know. Looks like we're almost there. Thank God. This is the place. Keep your eyes open. Something does not feel right. Keep walking, your highness. These streets can be dangerous after dark. Are you the one called Mingo? Who is asking? Luke Godin. Ah, the big man himself. <laughs> Come down to the penthouse to do a little slumming. Hmm? This isn't a social call. I have business to discuss. Business requires trust. Trust must be earned. Ah, that sword cuts both ways. It is dangerous to meet in the open like this. You risk too much. What's that? Germans! It's a fucking ambush! Take cover! What's a day without getting shot up? Shite! Luke! Over here! Get back in the fucking car! Get us out of here! Hang on! How did the crowds know we'd be here? There must be a leak somewhere. Well, don't look at me! This meeting was your idea. Show your trap, both of you! We're not out of this mess yet!
under fire here! Looks like we lost them. We need to get out of the open. I told you it was not safe to meet like this. You would jeopardize the entire resistance with your foolish theatrics. Enough! We need a place where we can talk, someplace secure. My headquarters is not far from here. Is it safe? It is the one place in the city where Germans don't dare to tread. Even the Nazis fear to walk among the dead. Christ, don't tell me it's another cemetery. starting to get superstitious. <laughs> the oldest graveyard in the city, and a haven for fugitives since Roman times. We will be safe there. Excellent. What is your name, Irishman? Devlin. Well, Mr. Devlin, you're a resourceful man. Stick around after the meeting. I may have some work for you. Ah, there's Sean. Let's get started. By now, most of you have seen these posted around the city. Our German overseers have devised a grand spectacle to convince us of their Aryan superiority. A race to be held here, in Paris, and broadcast to every corner of occupied Europe. Several high-ranking Nazi officials will be in attendance, including General Eckhart. My comrades, this is the moment we have waited for. We will seize this opportunity to strike a blow that will shake the very foundations of the Third Reich. The crowd brass will be heavily guarded. You'll never get close to them. You're right, Sean. We can't get close, but you can. What the fuck are you talking about? After the race, there will be an award ceremony at the base of the Eiffel Tower. During the ceremony, General Eckhart will present the winning driver with an iron cross. That is when we will strike. How are you gonna get past the security? I won't have to, Sean. You are going to win the race. I don't even have a proper car. How am I supposed to win a race? Speak to Vittore. He has some good news to share with you. And Sean. You may be interested to know that the Germans are placing bets on the winning driver. At last count, the odds were five to one, in favor of Kurt Dierker. Forgive us, I think. <laughs> 